Uncle C back in the office on this fine Saturday morning and today I'm going to be explaining the number one turn on that all women have towards a man. Now uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I've been enjoying my story time videos and this morning I woke up scrolling through some old videos on my phone from way back when I was like 19, 20, 21 and man I have a boatload of stories from just things I've learned with female nature to hypergamy to seeing these truths alive and in the flesh but the reason why i'm making this and keep in mind it's morning that's this is unfiltered this is this is raw i don't have a game plan for this video right it's not like i got my whiteboard so i'm flowing from the cuff so cut me some slack okay the number one turn on that all women have towards a man is a man who can and or lead their emotions. Now, here's the biggest issue with this, and I'm gonna be backing this up with an in-person video. The problem that majority of men have when they're trying to attract women, like the, the thing I constantly get men saying is they're like, hey Casey, I learned masculine frame. I made more money. I'm a leader. Look how strong I am. I'm in the gym. I'm a leader. Why can't she see I'm a leader? It's because she has no emotional pull towards you. So once again, if you're applying your thought process like, oh, I'm a leader of men and can't you see how strong I am? If you want it, if you're trying to logically convince a woman that you have leadership capabilities or that you are the type of guy that she should want, you're shooting yourself in the foot because you're defeating the entire purpose. A woman is won over through the psychological, not the logical. So you can be the best leader on earth, but if you do nothing to make her feel a certain way to influence her emotions up here, she is never going to actually feel anything. So you have to notice the way a woman is led is she is led through her emotional state. Whether you find this to be good or bad is irrelevant because this is the truth. The person or the man who is shifting her emotions automatically defaults into the masculine role in her head because it doesn't matter what he's leading in his own life or on the outside, he is right there in that exact moment leading her. And that's all that matters. So I found this video, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this video up on the screen so that way you can see this because this was when I was like 21 and I was in Minnesota partying and you can see like I'm out at this party. I got these two chicks like doing planks, right? Like working out as they're liquored up and they're drunk and they're sitting there and they're laughing their ass off doing planks. Okay, I'm gonna explain this in a second why, why I had them do this, why they wanted to do this. And it's, this all makes sense. Let's just cut and let's just put this up on the screen. All right, you got a 10 second plank. Let's go. 10 second plank. 10 second plank. Please. Please. Yeah. Now, a lot of you guys are saying, hey, why'd you do that? Well, here's why I did it. When I approached them, it turns out like they were on like the soccer team or like the softball team or they were, were like fit, right? They had like athletic bodies. And I asked like, what do you guys do? What are you, what are you doing here? Right. Oh, we're, we're going to school. We're on scholarships. Are you strong? Yeah, we work out all the time. Well, show me. Can you do a plank? Yeah. I bet you, you can't plank longer than her. Oh, I bet I can. So then instantly, when she, it, notice when I made a bet, when I challenged her, it challenged her emotions. She's now doing what it is that I said, and now she's planking. And she probably had six twisted T's in her. She probably had two shots in her, but it didn't matter. Right then and there, she's like, okay, I'm not losing this plank challenge. I'm going to plank in front of this other girl and go head to head and we're gonna see, even though our core is shaking like this because we're, we're liquored up, they're going to see, they're going to now prove themselves or she's going to try to prove herself to prove that she's fit just because I asked. A lot of you guys are sitting there going, man, Casey, that seems so counterproductive. That seems so not real. That seems so awkward. Or a lot of guys are just kind of flat out say that, how does that equal attraction? It equals attraction because it does three things. It creates mystery, it creates intrigue, and it creates allure. If you're a man and you can create mystery, intrigue, and allure with your speech to influence her thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and ultimately get her to fit your frame, that is all you have to do to be the guy that she wants, desires, loves, and craves intimacy with. A man who can influence her emotions. The biggest reason why I think this is so necessary for every guy to learn is because you can learn this at any height, you can learn this at any income level, you can learn this at any skill set. And that's where I'm such a firm believer in MBT, masculine behavioral techniques, masculine behavioral trainings. You can go down below and you can click the link in my bio to watch this and see what this is. But the biggest thing is like, when you are doing that, 
you're a guy who just gets it. And the reason why I want men to understand the psychological nuances of female nature and truly understand what a woman is hardwired to gravitate towards is because if you are, if you are on your purpose, if you're smart enough to make a million dollars a year, if you're smart enough to build your body, if you're dedicated enough, then you damn well should be able to figure out female nature in just a couple weeks. Cause if you're able to do all of this other stuff, that other stuff that you're doing on your purpose is far harder. That back end game setting is far harder to accomplish than the front end game. And front end game is when you actually tap a woman's emotions the correct way. And front end game is how you master your seduction. If you have not, if you're if you're new to front end game and you've never heard of these concepts, I highly advise you go down below and watch the MBT webinar. You won't regret it because once you definitely see that you can acquire this skill set in just a couple of weeks. I've watched guys totally transform their lives and they say, Casey, everything I thought I needed, looks, money, status, influence, do those things help? Yes, to an extent. And those especially help in back in game when it comes to keeping a woman and leveling up your status to get higher level, higher caliper women. But if you're a guy and you're getting no results and you're like, hey, I want to learn how to get a girlfriend tomorrow, this is the quickest way to do it. So this is the number one biggest turn on for all women as a man who can influence her emotions. And the number one biggest turn on since that is a man who can turn influence your emotions, I would rather you figure that out and crack that code sooner than later. Fellas, hit the like button, seriously, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And for those of you who give me hell about my Christmas tree, you gotta understand, I like my Christmas tree. I like my house and I'm not taking it down. And not to mention for a lot of guys that you know, like I live in a total like Arctic tundra. Okay, so it, it's nice, it's snowy. Okay, it's snowy and it looks good. So leave me alone.